But first, a quarter of British couples are sleeping separately. Ah. And it's all being blamed on this. The British Sleep Council says technology, like this Blackberry, is becoming a regular fixture in the bedroom and apparently it's slowly driving couples apart. We spend more time texting, emailing, playing computer games and surfing the net than cozying up to our other half. So how can we make our bedrooms a sanctuary for love? Here with all the answers is our residence expert, Julie Peasgood. This is Steve. Hello, Steve. How you doing? <laughs> Lovely boxer shorts. <laughs> Look, here's a quid. Go and get some <laughs> clothes. <laughs> what we're doing, though, is not a good idea, Alan. What are you because, doing? well, playing computer games in the bedroom. March is National Bed Month, and the Sleep Council have conducted a nationwide survey which has revealed that we're swapping our sex drives for our hard drives. <laughs> <laughs> This high, high technology equipment. <laughs> All this high technology equipment in the bedroom is not only detrimental to our relationships, it's a case of, you know, bye bye, Steve. It's so a clear off, Steve. Yeah, I'm you. going in the other room, yeah. I want a decent night's kip. Oh. No, 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 it's detrimental to my relationship. It is. But <laughs> because they emit electromagnetic waves, even when they're turned off, they're actually not great for our health. Basically, the bedroom. Have a seat. Thank the you. bedroom. <laughs> So that was a bit springy. <laughs> no, it's a lovely bed. The bedroom is for rest and romance. It's not for work. So ditch as it's many... It's not for having a wee. It's not. No. So <laughs> ditch as many electrical appliances as you can, unless, of course, they're small devices designed for your mutual enjoyment. If you get my meaning. Like the television. <laughs> if you have to have a telly in your bedroom, try and make sure it's at least six to eight feet away. I'm not joking, Generally honestly. speaking, my wife's at least six <laughs> to eight feet away. <laughs> <laughs> I will do a swap and the telly can do that. Uh, um, yes, right, OK. Also, you can make your bedroom more of a sanctuary by clearing your clutter. That's really beneficial. Don't just shove it under the bed. That makes for a very high sneeze factor. But take the opportunity to get your man to do the spring cleaning. Because, re honestly, recent research in America, Alan, has shown... This is horrifying. That, no, women are more sexually well-disposed and much more affectionate if they see their husband doing the housework. Women have put this about, haven't yeah. they? <laughs> I'm much better sexually disposed if you use the hoover. Do you do, you do housework? Really? I, I polish... A clean um, brass. And... Oh, I do. No, there... I do. It's therapy. I use. I use. You know. Is there brass no and... end to your talent? There's no beginning to most. Of <laughs> <laughs> also, pictures in the bedroom. Very, very important. Try and move family photographs to the living room. What have we got there? Yeah. It's no good. No matter how fond of, <laughs> how fond of Blanche you might be from Corrie or Auntie Mary. You are not going to lose yourself in the throes of passion if she is grinning or grimacing at you from, <laughs> from the bedside table. She's it's that not going to happen. Posh people get their cool in, don't yeah. you? Look at that. Also, <laughs> if you're single but you'd like to be in a relationship, try and avoid pictures of single images, one rose, one person, because that could be reflected in your relationship or lack of it. Go for things in pairs or couples. Psychologically, much more, you feel better. Absolutely, much more harmonious. You can also beautify your boudoir, set the mood with good lighting. Lighting oh. should be soft and as flattering as possible. I We've got these look lovely... Look at these. There's lo these lovely are lo little oh, we're taking the lights down. phasing now, lights from oh, IWantOneOfThose.com. They change colour to set the mood. They're lovely. As do these lounge lights from um, theglowcompany.co.uk. Oh, no. um, these, Alan, you can burn them. as a candle. Oh, they run off a battery. Oh, I've dropped my battery. <laughs> <laughs> I've just dropped me back, right? <laughs> but they're meant to be on the... Oh, no! <laughs> no, it was an accident, honestly. Very I'm practical. Apart. Very it. practical. Yes. If, you know, you, you get carried away, you're not going to risk burning the house down. I know what had happened to me. The bottom had come out. <laughs> <laughs> You can right. also um, invest in some new bed linen. We've got lovely examples here, all the details on our website. website. But one that caught my eye is the, the Karma Sheetra from lovehoney.co.uk. The Karma Sheetra. If you've wanted to try all those difficult positions but you don't know where to put your hands or your feet, now is your opportunity to try 
Well, if I'd fallen number seven on there, I'd never get back to my normal shape. <laughs> be used in conjunction with Love Honey's Love Pillow, which is very supportive in achieving those trickier positions. <laughs> Seven. Seven. And also, don't you can't be you can't be Hey, love. Hey, love, how do you fancy a number seven? <laughs> she said, no, I wanted the chicken chow mein instead. <laughs> Seriously, the pillow can be very good if you've got any physical problems or disabilities as well. That's really good. <laughs> if you didn't have them before you started, you'd have them when you finished. Another pillow with a difference is, um, is this yes-no pillow. I like, the from... one, I like the one you've got, yeah. the one I've got. Exactly. <laughs> Find me a, from findmeagift.com, it lets you, you know, indicate to your partner if you're up for some activity without saying a word. <laughs> You can also give another non-verbal message by sprinkling some of these novelty rose petals from uh, sextoys.co.uk. Very seductive messages can be left. They've got little messages oh, on them. in and miss. In, and you can also... <laughs> <laughs> you always... Oh, story of my life, isn't it, really? Why do you always pick the dodgy ones? They just go... <laughs> I'm not telling you what this one is. <laughs> You can also write your own, which is very, very oh, good. Right. And real love pet real rose petals also look lovely sprinkled on your bed. And finally, if you do have the misfortune to get chucked out of bed for whatever reason, you can always invest in a silk bag. A what? Basically, it's a sleeping bag that you wear. You, it is a bit like an adult inflatable <laughs> baby bag. <laughs> If you're going to be lonely, oh, you might as well be warm and cosy. I know I sent you away, but I didn't know this is what had happened to you. How does it feel? Very hot. I prefer my box of shorts, definitely. Do you really? Yes. But you, can you get any ventilation in there at all? A little all? bit, yeah. Well, there we are. There's a thing to pull your zip with. Yeah. Hang on. Excuse me, I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> so you can get a bit of air in. Yes. But would yeah. you recommend it, then? No, I'd definitely stand the wife's good books. You, I, you look a bit like Scott of the Antarctic. <laughs> <gone. laughs> <laughs> well, look, if you'd like to find out more about anything Jules revealed today, just de remember details can be found on our website, itv.com forward slash. <laughs> My thanks to Julie Peasgood and Steve. Thank you. I'll need that later on. <laughs>